Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Crab Clutch. Today we're going to be making a scary Halloween decoration. <laughs> I'm going to be using items from the dollar store to make this creepy decoration and I've used a very similar base for a Christmas one that I did a couple years ago. So if you want to find that and you're ready to start jumping into Christmas stuff, I'll have that linked in the description below. Let's get started on the creepy stuff. This project involves mostly stuff from the dollar store and I have two votives. They're just round kind of fishball globe votives and two candle holders of different heights. So the very first thing we need to do is glue these on. You go ahead and use any glue you want. You can use like a super glue, anything that will glue glass together and hold it. You can do an E6000, anything you like. Before we do that, we want to decorate the inside of there just so it doesn't look so plain. And I have some red nail polish also from the dollar store. And I'm just going to make it kind of look like almost blood smears in there. Just like that, and then we'll let that dry and then we'll glue it to the votive. When you get your glue on, you want to just center it like this and let it dry. Now while the glue is drying, I'm gonna take the nail polish and I'm going to just start to drip it and just let it go. And we'll just let it drip wherever it wants, however it wants. make its way down and you can always add a little bit more if you think some parts might be light or you can just let it do whatever it wants to do. I'm going to add some of that same detail to the bottom. I don't know how much is going to show on the bottom but I thought it would be good to do it just in case some of it does show. The polish has dried and you can certainly leave it like this if you wanted to. However, I wanted to take it a little bit further and I have these little plastic skeletons. And they come like this and it's like on one big long garland strand of string. And I also got this there which is just some kind of creepy fabric. And it's a really long piece that would be perfect actually for like a shawl or something. If you're doing like an old lady costume or anything like that. But we are going to use it on our candlesticks and I have some hot glue heating up and I'm going to start up here. You just want to go around and glue it on. And it doesn't have to be neat or pretty because obviously this is for Halloween and the rougher the better. Okay, and I'm going to just glue it in various spots down along the stem just like this. Okay, then I'll cut some off and work it around a little bit more. Just like that, and I'll glue it in a couple spots underneath, and then, you know, little red might peek through, which is good. I cut one of the skeletons off with a piece of the rope, and this rope matches really well with his bone color. So I'm going to just tie him on, and I'll knot it in the back. And I'm also cutting off, like they have a little hanger at the top, like a little loop. I'm just cutting that off too, you don't even see it. And I'm going to add three of them to each. All right, and then you want to cut the excess off of these. Now the rope is holding them on fine. I'm going to add just a little dab of glue behind the head, just so it kind of keeps them in place just a little bit better. So once you have all of that, they can be done. Now this is perfect for Halloween, but it's also perfect if you're doing like a pirate birthday party. And I have these other skeletons, plastic skeletons, left over last year also from the dollar store. I had only used their heads to make sugar skull pendants. So I have these, the rest of them left over. So I cut some of them up and you can just toss them right in. And then I have my little votive candles, the ones that are battery operated. So you take your little votives and you turn them on and put them in there. And you can add the bones that you took from those other skeletons left over from a different project. So that kind of covers up the candles a little bit. So it looks like these bones are in there kind of glowing. And now you have a really cool decoration. So it helps create that spooky atmosphere you might be after for Halloween or like a pirate party. the skeleton candle holders in the comments below. While you're here, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And I will definitely see you next time. Remember you guys, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and 
your glitter. Stay safe. Thanks guys.